Jesus and his disciples came to Jericho. As he and his disciples and a large crowd were leaving Jericho, Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the roadside. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he cried out even more loudly, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and said, Call him here. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he is calling you. So throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. Then Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, Rabbi, I want to see. Jesus said to him, Go, your faith has made you well. Immediately, he regained his sight and followed him on the way. misspelling my name. I mean, how hard is it to spell Bartimaeus? That is horrible. Terrible is what that is. Yeah. You know what? You should put that on Yelp. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I should. I should. I think somebody ought to do something about increasing security around here. Yeah, I keep saying that too. You know, it's better than it used to be. I mean, with all the developments going in around here and the property values going up, it's a little safer. Yeah, well, some people don't think so. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, but what's, what's not to like, you know? Yeah, you got the, uh, makes the neighborhood safer, makes it nicer. Did you hear that? What's, what's going on over there? I, I saw this on the news. That's Jesus and his followers. They've been in the city all week. Hi, how are Jesus? you? Jesus? Hi, I'm Jesus. Here? Yeah, you know, the, 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 the lame walk, Jesus. the blind see, the deaf here. hear. He's got, a, he's got a whole thing. The blind see? Hey, I, I, I'd like to see that. that sounds, you know, that sounds pretty nice. I'd love to be able to see. Really? Yeah, that sounds pretty yeah. good. Do you? I mean, yeah, I mean, it sounds pretty good. I mean, see. Just be hey, careful what you wish for. Right? Yeah. Hey, look, it's a whole parade. You know what? I think I'm going to call him over. I think I'm going to ask him. Dude, you don't want to do this. No, 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 no. It would be good. Jesus, Jesus, look, Lord! I, I want him to. Son of David, have mercy on me. No, that's, the whole, that's what I want. But Son of David, have mercy on me. Oh, well, what? Ooh, come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Jesus. Hey, hi. Hey. Yeah. What can I do? Rabbi, I want to see. Really? Do you? Yeah, I, I do. Well, I really don't think you know exactly what you're uh, asking. You don't know what you're getting into. Yeah, I want to be able to see. Uh, well, it's, it's going to take uh, some time. It's going to take effort. What are you talking you're gonna... about? You're Jesus. Snap your fingers and give me sight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I really don't think we should go there just yet, Bartimaeus. There are some things come on, that you come need Come on, to... please, please. I want to see. I want to be able to see. Okay. Okay, then. You benefit from white privilege in ways that negatively impact others and knowingly or unknowingly perpetuate racism. Wait, what? You benefit from white privilege in ways that perpetuates racism. <laughs> Jesus, did you just call me racist? I thought you said you wanted to see. <laughs> well, you, you, uh, you must have me confused with somebody else. Oh. Because I'm totally cool. Yeah, I'm, okay. I mean, I'm even, I'm progressive. I, I, oh. I, I don't see color. Oh, you, you don't see color? No, no, I'm colorblind. You're colorblind? Yeah, I'm colorblind. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I grew up in a pretty loving family where we were taught to love everybody, no matter what, no matter what, no matter what their skin color was, because everybody's a child of God. And, my church has always been very welcoming of people of color, and, and uh, you know, I even went to a racially mixed high school, so I know a little bit about racial reckoning. 
Uh, who are you? Where's Jesus? Bartimaeus, I am Jesus. You okay? You okay? Oh yeah, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. so you were saying you're colorblind? Yeah, yeah, I don't see color. So does that mean like you don't see the color of my skin or it's just that like you think I'm cool and you've made me like an honorary white guy in your book? No, no, it, it means it, I, like I, I believe that we've all been created equal and that we should love and respect everybody no matter what. Oh, okay, you mean we should all just get along. Okay, so, so what you're saying is you don't like to rock the boat. I don't know if you know me, but man, I, I really like to rock the boat. Um, so how does this okay, let's all just get along stuff work with inequality and, and, and those types of things? Well, we all stand up together and we cry out, all lives matter. Oh, Bartimaeus, it's Black Lives Matter, man. Yeah, but don't you think all lives matter? Oh, blind Bartimaeus, dude, listen. You were born on third base and you think you hit a triple. You walk around with all kind of privilege and now you want to come up to me talking about all lives matter? Man, give me a break. But Jesus, one, one, of, one of my best friends is black. Oh, oh, really? Come on, have you not been listening to anything that I've been saying? By the way, what's that friend's name? I think it's William. Hey, William! <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah, nice. So where does William get his groceries? Where does William get his haircut? Where, have you been to William's church? Have you been to William's home? Has William ever talked to you about, about what it's like to live in a white culture? Well, culture, look, I, I'm, not, I'm not evil. I mean, I try to love people and I try to do good. How am I supposed to change the culture? You know what? Blind Bartimaeus, you change the culture. We all have to change the culture. That's what it's about here. You wanted to see. You said you wanted to see. So I came to talk to you about what that means. But what you need to understand is that people have lived under slavery, under oppression, under racism. Those things are their reality. But those things happened before my time. They were already here when I got here. Right. So you're not responsible. No, no. I just mean... Can we just let go of the past and move forward? Yeah, as if everything's okay now. As if a young kid wasn't shot but when he was playing with his toy gun in Cleveland. As if there wasn't a mom who gets arrested for things that she didn't do and has to admit to guilt in order just to av av avoid jail time because she can't afford the kind of represented, the representation that you would get. Oppression, it's real, brother. Ah. What's the problem? Well, I'm just, I'm sorry I brought it up. Can I, can I go back to my coffee now? Sure. Hey, Ralph, help me out. Can you help me out here? Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, listen, you flagged me down. I'm sorry, brother. You said you wanted to see. Yeah, I, you know, I do want to see, but Jesus, I thought, you know, I heard so much about you. I thought you were going to be nice. I thought you could be loving. I thought you'd be caring. Right, 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 and comfortable. No. You feel uncomfortable? You know what, honestly, I actually feel a little bit uncomfortable right now, and, and I feel unwelcome. And that seems a little un-Jesus-y, if you ask me, hmm. and, you know? I mean, there's a little reverse racism going on here, okay. how about that? so you're uncomfortable, and you're unwelcome. Imagine what it's like to be a minority living in a white power structure. You feel uncomfortable? You feel discriminated against? Yeah, yeah, you know what, yes. I've been discriminated against. It might not be racial discrimination, but this one time... No, no, I... no, no, oh, please, please, please stop. You felt prejudice. We've all felt prejudice. It's something that happens to us all. But racism is different. Racism is prejudice plus power. And, and not just power, but the misuse of power. These things I talk to you about, discrimination, injustice, those are real things, and you've got to recognize that. I voted for Obama. Oh my goodness. Blind Bartimaeus, you poor sad beggar. You don't see that you walk around with white privilege and that you carry it with you wherever you go? Uh, oh, woe is me. Woe is you, really? Right now is the time where we're gonna all start feeling sorry for you, like you're the victim. Right now is the time that you're, we're gonna feel bad about what's going on for you. Injustice, oppression, those are real things and you've gotta to learn to sit in it and listen and challenge that reality. Okay, okay, so um, let, me, let, me, let me help. 
I can fix it. We can fix it. Oh, Let me man. help fix it. Oh, tell, me, like, tell me what to do. That's the tell white, me what to do. That's the white culture statement. We can fix it. As if there are steps to fixing it. Listen, it's hard. It's horrible. But it's the reality for many people, and you've got to sit in it. All right. You know, I, I hear you. I hear what you're saying. But... I just don't see how this is specifically my problem. This is, this is like a society-wide thing. I don't know how I'm going to change it. And I'm trying my best, and I really don't see how I'm racist. I said it, I said it once, and I'll say it again. I'm color, colorblind, I'm colorblind, I'm colorblind. Oh, there you are. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, so um, you, you, you feeling better? Yeah, yeah. Now I do, thank you. Okay, great, because that's what I'm here for. Oh, thanks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wait a minute, are you being sarcastic? Oh, who, me? Oh, no, never. No, no, no. I, you know, I, I love it when we use uh, religion to mask our, our hatred and our bigotry and our exclusiveness. And I really love it when we use religion to, uh, you know, divide people into groups. So one people group can have power over the other people group. Hey. You want a hug? Come on, bring it in. There you go. There we are. It's all okay. This isn't right. This doesn't, this, this feels wrong. What's the matter? Well, Bartimaeus, what do you want me to do for you? Rabbi, I want to see. Oh God, I want to see. Oh God, Oh, I, I hate this, oh God. I hate it. I want this to go away. I don't want to talk about this. I don't even want to be here. But I trust in you. And I love you, God. And I pray that your Holy Spirit would move into this place right now. And open my eyes. Jesus, you're right. I'm not colorblind. I'm racist. And I'm racist in ways that I don't even see or understand. And white culture is such a reality for me, it's like the air I breathe and I benefit from it every day. And, and, I, and I don't know what it's like. I don't know what it's like to be hated and discriminated against and hurt and dehumanized because of the color of your skin. I don't know what that's like, and I'm sorry. There, did I do it? <laughs> yes, you did. You, you acknowledged your white privilege. Congratulations. What, do you want a cookie? <laughs> well, I thought we'd solve racism, to racism today with listen, a little skin. Listen, man, you don't get to be the hero. This is a sad reality. This place where these people live, these things are really, really, really sad. And the solution may not come for you from you, but you've got to understand it might not happen on your terms, but it will happen. And you've got to stay present and in it. Acknowledge, you acknowledge the truth today. And that is a great thing. Wow. Wow. So what's going on? Well, I just, I think I'm starting to see a little clearer. And? Well, it's ugly because I think what you're saying is it, this goes deeper than just on the surface, that this is in our institutions. It's in our institutions. It's everywhere. It's everywhere around us. It's in our schools. It's in our, it's in our churches. It's, it's, in, it's in our prison system. It's in our political system. It is everywhere. Ah. It's heavy. It's heavy, but it's the reality. But you know what? Hang in there and hold on to love because a society without love is a society without sight. Now, what is it that I can do for you? Rabbi, I want to see. Well, then follow me. Okay. Okay? Yeah. I can see. 
What's that like? It's good. It's really good. You should try it. No, thanks. I'm good. What did you see?